Brock to your hallway, how shy. 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 Yahawa, Bashim, Yahawa shy. Wabarak, Wabarapa, Wakazak, the apostles, elders, and the brethren throughout the four corners. I say Shalom. This is Elder Tazadakba coming at you with this uh, with another lesson. I want to do this lesson, a brief lesson on um subject that's been in the media as of late. Uh, basically, people out there, Jake's, you got Jake's that are out there that are in the uproar over this guy, Jay-Z, um, partnering with the NFL. A lot of them are like, oh, man, this dude is talking about boycott the NFL, and now he goes and he makes a deal with them. Jay-Z is all about money. But now what I want to focus on is there's something else Jay-Z did back in around uh, sometime in the month of May 2019. Is he raised, he, Rock Nation raised about $3 million to be startup money for a company called Promise that is uh, creating a technology or an app <clears throat> that's basically going to be able to allow nonviolent offenders to get out of prison and to uh, basically not have to be housed by the criminal justice system. And uh, they just have to keep up their appointments with their parole officers and their court dates and stuff like that. And instead of wearing the GPS tracker on their right leg or left leg, like a little beeper, it'll be uh, connected with their phone. Basically, what this video is about is progressive technology will lead to the chip. Now, I'm going to start off here with the book of Isaiah 10, 1 and 2. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they has prescribed. To turn aside the needy from judgment, which is our people, the twelve tribes of Israel, and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may uh, rob the fatherless. That's pretty much self-explanatory. Now, let me read a little bit about this thing with uh, Jay-Z. Because, see, this seems like a good thing. Well, yeah, you know, brothers are getting locked up. Uh for smoking weed, or maybe the brother might have a coke addiction, or a crack addiction, which is coke, same thing, and they get locked up for 10, 15 years, and um, it's a nonviolent offense. The criminal justice system is spending all types of money, so this is their solution, and the solution is this technology. Now, I'm going to read this article, a little clip. It says, outraged, Jay-Z criticized for investing in company that sells GPS software to track parolees. This was article was uh, Sunday, May 26, 2019. So this is around the time when Jay-Z put this money uh, into this company. Now it says, Jay-Z pictured left with Nipsey Hussle is under fire for investing $3 million in a startup company that assists state and local governments to track parolees by improving GPS monitoring technology. The difference between Jay-Z and the late rapper Nipsey Hussle is that Nipsey Hussle lifted up his community while Jay-Z seeks to exploit and profit from it. Uh, Promise is a decarceration startup that raised $3 million in capital funding from the corporations and individuals led by Jay-Z's Rock Nation. Promise doesn't raise funds to bail detainees out of jail. Instead, promises a technology software design company that sells apps that help government agencies track people who are released from jail under the First Step Act. What is the First Step Act? The First Step Act is this. The First Step Act was uh, something that was passed, I believe, in December of 2018. And basically what it's going to do is, I'm going to read a little bit of this article. Historical criminal justice reforms begin to take effect. More than 3,100 people were released from the federal prison as parts of the First Step Act go into effect. The First Step Act, which Congress passed last December, represents the most substantial criminal justice reform legislation in a generation. The law aims to shorten mandatory minimum sentences for some drug offenses and to improve conditions for people currently in prison, but since the First Step Act was signed into law, advocates have voiced concerns about oversight and funding for its implementation. However, the law gotten 
unexpected boost last week when the Justice Department confirmed that it would redirect $75 million from the existing programs to fund the First Step Act through the end of September, the conclusion of 2019 fiscal year. So the First Step Act was passed in December of 2018. And what the First Step Act does is the First Step Act is going to allow for people who basically are drug offenders, nonviolent, to be able to get out of prison. Because you got the prisons, they're overcrowded. Even though they're building more jails, the prisons are overcrowded and basically um, they're running out of funding. So this is a way for the government, city, states or whatever, to save money on putting people in jail. And basically just put a dog tag on you and watch your every movement. Now, let me uh, jump to, that's why I read the scripture in um, Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Because... In looking at this technology or this app, it looks like it's going to be a good thing. See, people that are, uh, are in jail as a result of nonviolent offenses will get out early. Now, let me touch this other article. <clears throat> Rolling Stone. Jay-Z's Rock Nation supports app to improve criminal justice system. Money, time, and lives are wasted with the current policies. It's time for an innovative and progressive technology, rapper says of Promise. Promise is the company that's creating the app. Now, it calls it progressive technology. That's why I call this lesson, progressive technology will lead to the chip. Now, what, is, what does it mean to be progressive? Let's look at the definition of progressive. What is a progressive? Someone who is progressive or has progressive ideas, has modern ideas about how things should be done rather than traditional ones. You understand? That's what a progressive does. They have modern ideas about how things should be done rather than traditional ones. So what does this mean with this technology? What, what does it all, what is the root of it all coming from? I'm going to give you another example. If you've ever heard of a term called Hegelian dialectics i'm gonna have to uh, pull it up uh, because i just asked out of it and that was the spirit of satan um hegelian dialectics let me get right back here hegelian dialectics was uh, started by a man named Hegel, back in the 1800s, and the Hegelian dialectic and its use in controlling modern society. So with this whole thing with the app with Jay-Z and, and the company called Promise, the criminal justice system, this is just, again, like I said, another way of leading you to the chip by the situation is overpopulation in prison and not having enough money to house all these prisoners and build enough jails. So this is a solution. The solution is, okay, let's set up this app. Let's put it in your phone. And then eventually, what is it going to lead to? It's going to lead to the chip. And it's, uh, it's basically a one-way ticket to the new world order. Now, I'm going to read a little bit about Hegelian dialectics because that's what Jay-Z is a part of. Jay-Z is a new ager. He's a Satanist. He's a part of these satanic, illuministic uh, fraternities and occults. And he's being used, and he's also going to be uh, paid a pretty penny. He's going to make money off this also. Don't think he's investing that money with the company Promise, and he's not going to get a return on it. Now, I'm going to read a little bit about this. What exactly is Hegelian dialectic? George Wilhelm Friedrich Hegel was a 19th century German philosopher who devised a particular dialectic or method of argument for resolving disagreements. His method of arriving at the truth by the exchange of logical arguments is a system of thought process still in use to this day. Now, let me jump to another part. So that's what a Hegelian dialectic is. So now I'm going to go to here. It says Hegelian dialectic and its use in controlling modern society. So let's check out this example right here. Pardon me. 
This is called deceive by the dialectic process. And this is how this works. From twisting truth through group consensus, tension created by a diversity is essential to the dialectic process. It energizes members and when manipulated by well-trained facilitators, produces synergy. You can't guide people toward synthesis or compromise. It's about compromise. So this thing with this company called Promise, Jay-Z uh, investing the three million, is about a compromise to a solution. The compromise to the solution, the end game, is getting everybody chipped. Unless there are opposing views, both thesis and antithesis, that's why the census process must include all these elements. So to perform, use this process of Galing dialectics, you got to have all these things, a diverse group, which is who? Promise and Rock Nation. Dialogue to consensus. The dialogue is about nonviolent offenders and, and uh, drug offenders being housed in prison over a social issue. That's what the social issue is, right? Overpopulation of jail, not enough money to house the prisoners, violent offenders and uh and uh drug abusers being uh thrown in prison for nonviolent crimes led by a trained facilitator Jay Z promise toward a pre planned outcome. The pre planned outcome is gonna be getting everyone to chip. But the Trojan horse to do that is gonna be the promise app. So now look let me go back here to this article. Jay Z's Rock Nation supports app to improve criminal justice system. It's progressive technology. Progressive technology will lead ultimately to where? The chip. Now let me read a little bit of this. Jay Z's Rock Nation has thrown their support behind a new app that aims to reduce incarceration and recidivism in the criminal justice system. Promise, an app co founded by social entrepreneur and former Prince manager. For Idra Ellis Lampkins hopes to create a sustainable and scalable program that will reduce the number of people behind bars, recidivism, and the cost of care by extending the capabilities of community supervision. The company said the app will be open to both government agencies and users on parole or who otherwise would be incarcerated. So now, to get the gist of it, this app that Promise is working on and that Jay Z is invested in, what it's going to do is you're going to have to, you know, your your smartphone, your cell phone, you have the app on your phone, and instead of sitting in prison or wearing the tracking device on your your left or right ankle, you know that big bracelet, the app will be in your phone and they can contact text you at any time. They can track your whereabouts at any time and anywhere that you go. So this is, you know, this is a progressive thing. And it seems like a good thing so you can get out of prison early, right? You can get out of prison early. You don't have to be sitting in prison as long as you, it'll, it'll warn you. It, it'll give you a prompt or you have a court date today. Um, you have to go with your, see your parole officer today, or you have to go get piss tested today. As long as you keep up with all of those appointments, you won't be thrown in the who's gal, right? So now what all of that is going to lead to. Is the chip because now what's going to happen with these phones? People lose their phones. Your phone gets dropped in water. Um, somebody, your phone gets stolen. Oh, you forgot to charge your phone and the battery dies. So when these problems start to arise, what's going to be the next step? The next step is this. So let, let me hit another scripture, and then I'm gonna go and speak about the next step. The scripture I'm gonna go to here is um, is gonna be the book of Jeremiah. The fifth chapter. Because it seems like this is a good thing. Bible book list. Pardon me. Pull this up quick. Jeremiah 5. So let me go right here to the bottom. Jeremiah 5 and 26. Pardon me. Okay, this thing got demons on it. 
I wasn't trying to make this real long and drawn out. Take it back a notch. Here we go. Jeremiah 5, starting here at the 26th verse. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that setteth snares. They set a trap. They catch men. As a cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they are become great and waxen rich. Is not that Jay-Z? He's waxing rich. He's going to wax even richer with setting up this progressive technology with the company called Promise with that app that he invested in to help the what? Criminal justice system to keep eyes on who? Jake, his own people. That's why the scriptures say, for among my people are found wicked men. Now, again, with the phone, again, the problems that I listed about having a phone and what can happen with a phone. There's technology out now that the phone can be integrated into your right hand, into your right hand or left hand or whatever. It can be integrated in your body, which is the transhuman agenda, which this is a stepping stone, the app to your phone. Then from the phone actually be installed into your body to actually receiving the chip or the mark of the beast, which is the end game. So let me just play a little bit of this commercial. It's a BBC commercial that shows a woman went and got surgery and had the phone integrated into her body. Will you call me? Sorry? Will you call me? You mean telephone? Yeah? Yes. Where? Now. Because this is right here. This is why I wanted to have lunch. Will you just phone me? Now? Hello, Bethany speaking. Hello. Are you phoning for Bethany? Yes. What are you doing? Because Bethany can hear me. Well, you're right in front of me. But can you hear me down the phone? Oh, my gosh. This is me. On the phone, I had it implanted. My hand is the phone. I can walk. And talk, because I'm on the phone, the phone inside my hand. I am the phone. This is what phones are going to be from now on. I have integrated. Thank you for your call. Subdermal implants. They charge themselves with motion like a self-winding watch. And it's on the 22 network. I get signal across 95% of UK mainland, 98 by next year. When I phoned you, it was ringing. You were ringing. That's the speaker. So small. OK, but when did you get this done? That course in Winchester. I had one finger done every night. I still need to use a handset to phone out. Look. Hello? Hi. OK, but look, I can't believe you had surgery without telling me. Skin plants, not surgery, and I knew you'd be cross. OK, so that's enough of that. So you get the gist of it, looking at that commercial and looking at the situation with this app that Jay-Z put his money into to finance, you see where I'm going. Progressive technology will ultimately lead to what? The chip, a.k.a. the mark of the beast. Now I'm going to close this out because I pretty much made all the points I wanted to make. So now I'm going to close it out and hit that beautiful scripture. Revelations 13 and 16. Revelation 13. Because I wasn't going to make this long and drawn out. You got the points. Uh, you can go look the stuff up for yourself. This is pretty much where we're headed in. This is the... This is the time that we're in. Pardon me. Um, this system got demons on it. Keeps doing things that I don't want it to do. And uh, I just want to highlight this so that way you can, you can see it. I don't, know, I don't need this shit here. What the fuck is this? It says, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark 
or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So I'm going to read it again. Revelations 13 and 16. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, in order to push this technology, we always got to have guinea pigs, right? And we've always said this for years that they're going to start with the, with the jails. So this is an example of them starting with prisoners in jail, but using it as a progressive technology in the form of an app that you put in your smartphone, which once it becomes burdensome, you can actually have the phone implanted into your hands. And then from there, what does that lead you to? It'll lead you to Karagma. It's going to lead you to the chip. Revelation 13 and 16 again. And he calls it all both small and great rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. So I hope brothers was edified. I hope you got something out this lesson. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.